Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park is one of the least visited and most unappreciated parks in America. The canyon plunges over 2,700 feet down and features the tallest vertical wall in Colorado. The canyon is so narrow and tall that the walls are almost constantly shaded and the rock face appears black. When it comes to national parks, this one is actually pretty small, which means you can visit all of the highlights in just a day or two. In this video, we're going to cover the top things to do in Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, including the best hiking trails, the most scenic overlooks, and can't miss destinations on both the North and South rims. First, decide which side you're going to visit. Both sides of Black Canyon are worth visiting, but there are no bridges that connect the two, and it takes about two hours to drive from one rim to the other, so you'll need to plan ahead. The South Rim is the most popular area of the park. It's easy to access, has the most scenic viewpoints, and is located the closest to nearby restaurants and hotels. The North Rim is quieter and offers a more remote experience. There are no paved roads on the North Rim and no visitor centers aside from a small ranger station. The North Rim is also closed in winter, typically from mid-November until April. The South Rim. Start your journey by taking a scenic drive. South Rim Road is only seven miles long, but it takes you past 12 scenic overlooks, five hiking trails, and four inner canyon routes. If you only have one day to visit Black Canyon of the Gunnison, then spending your time on the South Rim is the best way to view the park. Driving South Rim Road takes less than 30 minutes non-stop, but you can easily fill up your day enjoying the views. There are several pull-off points where you can go picnicking, read interpretive signs, and hike among the juniper trees. Stop at Gunnison Point. Gunnison Point is located right next to the visitor center and it's one of the most impressive overlooks. A short, 100-yard path will lead you right out the back doors of the museum and down a rocky trail to the heart of the park. The canyon walls are so narrow at this point that if you look closely, you might even be able to see some vehicles moving along the north rim on the other side. This can be one of the more crowded overlooks in the park because it's so easily accessible and located right near the entrance, but it's worth the stop. Not only does Gunnison Point offer picture-perfect views, but it's also located along two scenic hikes on the south rim that can't be missed. The Oak Flat Trail and the Rim Rock Nature Trail. Hike the Oak Flat Trail. There aren't too many long hikes on the South Rim, so if you're looking to stretch your legs, we recommend hiking the Oak Flat Trail. The hike is only two miles long but has a lot of variety when it comes to vegetation and views. And if you want to double the distance, you can add on the Uplands Connector Trail and the Rim Rock Trail to make one unforgettable scenic loop. For the best hiking experience, we recommend following the route counterclockwise so you can tackle the uphill switchbacks first, then enjoy the rest of the trail. Along the way, you'll encounter aspen trees, Douglas fir, chokecherry, and gamble oak. There is also a lot of color variation if you visit during fall. Cross Fissures View once you've worn out your legs, hop in the car and visit Cross Fissures View. Unlike many of the other overlooks within the park, you cannot see the Gunnison River from this one. Instead, the focus is on the amazing jagged rock formations that have developed within the canyon. The hike is only about 15 minutes from the road, so it's worth the walk. Painted Wall Moving on from Cross Fissures View, you would be crazy to miss the most photographed attraction in the park, the Painted Wall. On this famous section, nice rock is laced with dikes of pegmatite to create lightly colored bands that appear painted on the surface. You can view it from many different areas of the park, but the best place to see every striation is at the Painted Wall Overlook on the South Rim. The walk to the Overlook is only about 200 yards so you'll be able to haul all of your camera gear easily. And although there are some barriers to keep you from falling over the edge, there are still plenty of spots to take a picture without the safety fences in the way. The Painted Wall is also one of the most popular areas in the park for nesting peregrine falcons, which makes it even more interesting. Cedar Point Nature Trail. Located on the south rim right after the Painted Wall Overlook is the Cedar Point Nature Trail. This short hike only takes about 10 minutes to complete, but it's consistently rated as one of the best places to see the Gunnison River and the famous Painted Wall. The short trail is dog-friendly and popular for viewing birds and other wildlife. We highly recommend it for families with kids because it's short and easy to walk. Drive down East Portal Road. If you have any energy left at the end of day one, then you cannot miss the drive down East Portal Road. 
This zigzagging road takes you all the way down to the bottom of the canyon where you can go fly fishing or dip your toes into the Gunnison River. The road can only be accessed from the south rim and you should dedicate about two hours to the trip. East Portal Road is extremely steep with 16% grade in some spots so you'll have to take it slow and vehicles longer than 22 feet are prohibited. If you're towing a trailer, you can unhitch it at the south rim campground before starting your journey. When you get to the bottom, there are plenty of parking spots along the river. You'll also find several picnic tables, some vault toilets, and one of the most scenic campgrounds in the park. The North Rim Travelers who want to get the full Black Canyon experience should plan to spend a day on the North Rim as well. This side of the park has a completely different feel than the south side. It's much more undeveloped, secluded, and wild. The North Rim is the perfect place to get away from the crowds and get the views all to yourself. North Vista Trail After driving into the North Rim of the park, get ready for the longest and best hike in Black Canyon, the North Vista Trail. Tourists who take this hike are part of just a small group of visitors who get to see an aerial perspective of Black Canyon. The first 1.5 miles of the North Vista Trail are mostly flat and very easy. You'll be walking along a pinyon and juniper forest beside the rim. Glimpses of the painted wall peek out between the trees nearly the whole way. Turn off towards the exclamation point overlook and prepare to be amazed. From here, you get a direct view of the Gunnison River surrounded on both sides by the canyon walls. From the exclamation point overlook you can see several south rim overlooks and the SOB Inner Canyon Trail which leads to the river below. North Rim Campground Returning from the North Vista Trail, consider grabbing a bite to eat at the North Rim Campground. This is the only area on the North Rim with picnic tables so it's a good place to rest before your next adventure. The campground is shaded among juniper and pinyon pines so it's a great place to relax. While at the campground, hop onto the Chasm View Overlook Trail. The short, loop trail takes just a few minutes to complete but you'll get picture-perfect views of Painted Wall and Serpent Point. While you're there, peer across the canyon and you'll be able to see tourists on the south rim looking at the Painted Wall from another angle. North Rim Scenic Drive Finish up day two of visiting Black Canyon by taking a leisurely drive along North Rim Road. There are only five scenic overlooks along the route so you can take your time and stop by all of them. North Rim Road is 4.5 miles long and unpaved. You should plan to spend about two to three hours on the drive if you want to see everything. But if you're getting tired, we recommend visiting the following three overlooks, the Narrows, Island Peaks, and Kneeling Camel View. Black Canyon might not be the most popular national park, but its views are unmatched. Depending on how quickly you travel, you can visit the whole park in just a day or two. We recommend spending the night at the North Rim Campground or in the nearby city of Montrose, where you can find several bars, restaurants, and hotels to unwind. 